Good morning. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to a new week. I hope you are all doing well. I have nothing to say about this face. You know, some days I think I look okay without makeup. Today is not one of those days. And I don't know what's going on with my throat. It's been a little bit sore this morning. So I'm hoping that I'm not getting sick. It is Monday today. I don't know if I said that already because I feel pretty delirious to be honest with you. But yes, it's Monday, start of a new week. Um, I have something very exciting to show you. So here are my new molds from Mr. Resin which have just arrived. Um, tell me you have OCD without telling me you have OCD. I'll go first. <laughs> but how pretty are they? Like honestly, I am so pleased with them. Um, so I literally just made these first thing when I came in and by the looks of them they are just about ready to unmould. So I'm going to do that, get them all put away in their boxes and then I think I will crack on with the next batch because I am actually fairly getting through the batches for all of the wholesale orders from Harrogate. I know it seems like we've, I've been doing this for ages and believe me it feels like I have as well. It has been like every day since we got back and we got back 11 days ago. Hence. So yeah, I believe I only have two or three more fragrances left to do. Um, obviously having this many moulds is absolutely life changing to me right now, like a massive game changer honestly, because I now have a total of 50 silicon moulds to make wax melts with. So I can make like, what, double or triple the amount of wax melts that I used to be able to make at one time. So I'm honestly so happy. Um, our plan is, if you didn't watch last week's vlog, um, our plan is this week to start getting everyone's orders out. Um, hopefully we should be able to do that by tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm guessing. Um, we shall see how we go. Um, because there is other things to sort out for um, everyone's orders, given the fact that they're all for like brand new stockists, there are some things that we need to do like, um, well first of all we need to make sure that they've paid, I think most people have, um, because the first invoice is pro forma, which means they pay it um, before we send out their orders. And second of all, kind of point of sale stuff that we do for them, so we do like custom uh, point of sale for everyone with like their logos, our logos and just like some information stuff like that. So yeah just everything like that really needs organised and although it only takes a couple minutes to do like each one because there are 11, yeah 11, uh, as you can imagine it will take probably at least an hour or so. So obviously I was just sitting in my wee hatch there with my coffee. Um, but Gordon put together this little setup for me the other day, which is so cute. But yeah, he's put this lovely painting up for me. Um, they actually got from me as a complete surprise and I freaking love it. It's by an artist called Jill Knight. Um, definitely go and check her out on Instagram if this is your kind of thing. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. And yeah, it just makes me really happy like sitting there and I just have like this to look at. I did actually have Twilight on the other day on the TV on Netflix uh, which is so bad whilst I was like sat there um, unmoulding wax melts.
Hi guys, it's a bit later on. I've had my jacket on over my apron all day because I'm so cold. Um, but I just wanted to jump on to show you something because I've just had a very exciting delivery. I actually couldn't wait <laughs> to show you so I've already started opening it. Um, there's a little clue. Let me pop the lid on and I will tell you all about this. So we have actually been asked about doing large size candles bigger than the ones that we do currently for quite a long time to be honest with you. Um, so what we are thinking of doing, this is probably really premature to even be mentioning this, but Our thoughts here are that we could potentially um, launch a bigger size just in our Christmas fragrances to kind of trial the jars out, uh, see how they sell, how you guys like them, um, because obviously they will be quite a bit more expensive than our current range, just with them being like, well, about double the size of our current candles. So, but that also means, of course, even better burn time and they're going to be kind of a bit more kind of statement uh, candles as well. So I will show you one of these next to one of our normal candles just for comparison. So that gives you an idea as to how much bigger it is than our normal candle jars. It's massive. I am literally so excited about these, um, but I... I'm probably going to have to start testing them like now <laughs> because I can't believe it's already August. That's insane. So yeah, definitely going to need to start um, testing our Christmas range in this size jar. First of all, just to make sure that we get the right wicks and yeah, stay tuned. Let me know in the comments as well what your thoughts are on these. If you're a customer especially, thoughts, would you buy one of these? Yay or nay? Go. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday today. I am so happy as you can probably tell. I am so close to being finished. Um, everything for the orders I think. I've only got like these wax melts that I made last night. Um, all you need to do is unmold those, get them all boxed up. And then I think I have one set of diffusers and refills to make. Um, we were here until literally half past nine last night. Gordon actually made his first ever batch of diffusers. Um, he did a great job. I think he made two different fragrances. Um, the only thing was is that one of the ones that he made I'd already done. So we now have like double the amount of Sundara Beach diffusers that we actually need. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying but you know they're not going to go off so I'm sure we will sell them all eventually but it's just I think the fact that we were like already here so late and we were both so tired it was just kind of like <sighs> like that time would have been spent so much better actually making something that we still needed so yeah Penny if you're wondering where she is she's actually out with our new dog walker um, for the first time today which is very exciting um, she seemed to get on great with her and she actually already takes out two other golden retrievers today as well so it'll be really cute it's just like the last push now to get as I said the other day to get not only like everyone's orders actually packaged up but get all the other little last minute bits done as well we're actually off tomorrow. Really all I mean by that is that Gordon took himself off the rota for tomorrow so he's not going to be in the gallery or anything like that. So yeah hopefully we'll be able to get lots of the orders packaged up tomorrow. Luke is back! Did you have fun? <laughs> She's literally so out of breath. I've given her like three bowls of water. <laughs> I think you had a good time didn't you? Okay so it's a little bit later now. I have boxed up all of the wax melts and made all of the diffusers. You can see it all behind me there. Refills as well. Um, and here is 
the batch which Gordon made last night, which he really didn't need to. So remember how god awful this space was looking before when it was just like three rows deep of these boxes filled with um, with the boxes for the wax melts and diffusers as well. Well, this is all that's left. So all I need to do with these is of course, um, get their labels on and get them into their boxes. Um, Gordon actually has all of the reeds, which of course we still need. Um, he's been sorting them out today, getting them into their um, set quantities of five, tying them up with twine. Um, so that we had them all ready to go. So he's gonna be over just in a little bit after he finishes work. So yeah, as I said, I'll get them labeled, get them into boxes, uh, put the CLP labels on, and then when he comes in, it'll just be a case of popping the reeds in and closing the boxes, and then they will be all done. Guess who's here? Wait. I thought it was you. <laughs> I thought I saw the door moving. I thought I didn't see the door moving. Then Penny was like, ah. <laughs> I have frames, I have reads. Well done. Time to go home for the day and it's only quarter to seven. packing day guys so it's Thursday and Georgina and I are both in the unit and my job today is to get all of these wholesale orders boxing out the door uh, well in fact I think we're sending them on Monday and um, because Georgina is working on the bespoke point of sale that we create for everyone say good morning to everyone hello so Georgina's sitting chilling watching the office making point of sale it's really Tough life right now for her. She's, uh, <laughs> although she has credit to her, made all of this and this, and there's actually some stuff that's already started to get bought. So we'll let her off with a chilled out morning doing point of sale. So I think I'll kind of leave it there. I'm sure there'll be a time lapse segment coming now. <laughs> spoken to you yet today so I just wanted to show you what I've been up to whilst Gordon has been busy packing all of the orders. So I have literally been designing these um, shelf cards this morning so far I have printed off everybody's 
shelf cards which are like bespoke for their own businesses so like here's one here which i think is so cute because it's called the ivory tree obviously so it's very um apt that they would be stalking us everyone has their bespoke ones with their logos and our logos and then they also have one which just has some kind of general information um about the candles so as you can probably guess, it did take me quite a while to do each and every one. So it is just about lunchtime and that has taken me pretty much all morning to do, so dark, to do those, but also to do these lovely little frames as well. Sam Gordon's framer actually made these frames for us like a few months ago, I think, or maybe even last year, like the end of last year um so we have literally like a full box of these made up so i designed this as well on canva it's very similar to what we had at harrogate but it's just more kind of geared towards retail customers obviously so that's those i've also just opened up a box of these cute little log slices um which i've actually never had before but i thought that might be something cute to kind of put in with people who've ordered wax melts because they can um, put some little samples out for people to see um, what they look like out of the box and probably be able to smell them as well which might kind of entice people into buying them so a few of our new sockets will get some of these as well everything is literally all over the place right now but in here for some reason I have all of this fake ivy um, and I've got one here as well that we just kind of unpacked from the show um, but the purpose of us having this is to send to new stockists to help dress their display. And so I just need to go and find all the right shelf cards, point of sale, ivy, everything like that, and pop them in. And then Gordon can get them all sealed up and we can get them booked on. guys it is Saturday um, in case you can't guess by my <laughs> loungewear yes <laughs> I'm having a very much needed day off today and I'm going to find something to watch on Disney Plus I think or Netflix one of the two and yeah I've already put on a face mask a foot mask <laughs> give myself like a little spa day and I'm gonna try and switch off I've left my phone charging upstairs so I can't look at emails or anything like that. Even though I am up to date on emails, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Also, who remembers uh, the day that Gordon and I and Penny spent in the Honeypot Creative Cafe um, painting our pottery? So we picked up everything um, a week ago, I guess, uh, that had been fired in the kiln and everything like that. So it was all ready for us to get. And it is so cute, I'm so happy with it. Like, can you tell that I had literally this vision in mind when I was designing it? Like, obviously these two are Emma Bridgewater and I had been wanting an Emma Bridgewater teapot for a while and I thought, why spend like, I don't know, something ridiculous like 80 pounds or something on a teapot when I can spend, I don't know how much this was, <laughs> a fraction of the price though, let's be honest. And, it's got that personal touch because I did it myself and I'm very pleased with it.
Sunday today. We have just got back from Perth. We had a lovely breakfast at the Unorthodox Roasters this morning. Then we thought we would nip through to Perth for actually some car shopping. Um, although we didn't actually end up signing off on anything. So we are actually looking at trading in my Range Rover for an electric car, but it has to be kind of big enough to fit Penny in the boot and have a good range and look nice as well, so. There's quite a lot to, a lot of T's to cross and I's to dot, but yeah. I think we know what we're getting, if we can find one. Yeah. Lunch was so good. Yeah. I'm stuffed. I know, we found this amazing Italian restaurant called... Paco's. Paco's. And I don't think it is actually a hidden gem, but it was a hidden gem to us because we looked on TripAdvisor for somewhere uh, this morning and, well, we found a few places, didn't we? But then we were yeah. just, we were walking back to the car and then we found this place and we thought, oh, that looks nice. And it was amazing. It was so cool. They yeah. must have had like literally 2,000 bits of like art and photos and skis and yeah, like, just, like it, it was just packed. It was like... Total old school <laughs> Italian family. Yeah, it just it was it was sick. Like lovely so atmosphere good. and everything, yeah. wasn't it? So yeah, so I think we're just gonna have a cup of tea and then take. Is she playing She's here. <laughs> take Penny out for a walk um, <laughs> in the rain because it's been raining on and off all day today. So that's fun. Um, yeah, and then just have a chilled out evening. Probably watch film. Or Love Island. Or Love Island, which. Don't judge us, but yeah, we still need to catch up on quite a lot of it. <laughs> so that is it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much as always for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and click subscribe if you're new. Yay! Bye guys! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys!